Welcome to Collections Revealed. My name is Yulia Bodanu and I am the curator of the Yolo County Historical Collection. Today we're in Collection Storage where we are featuring our newly installed painting and quilt rack, which were made possible by a grant from the National Endowment for the Humanities. We're able to store our paintings and our quilts and ensure the preservation of the collection for years to come. Today we're going to share with you a very unique piece from our collection, a crazy quilt donated by Emily Jane Tipton. Um, this quilt traveled all the way from Roseville, Illinois, not to be confused with Roseville, California, and uh, made its way to the Gibson House. as such because of the haphazard pattern that exists within them. As you can see, there are a lot of rich textures, colors, um, and although the pattern might look random, it's not. It's very well thought out, laid out um, by the quilt maker. Crazy Quilt Craze took over in the 1870s and reached its peak around the 1910s. It was after the 1876 Philadelphia Centennial Exposition um, that Americans were introduced to asymmetrical designs through Japanese pottery. Um, folks that saw those pieces were inspired to create asymmetrical quilts uh, within their homes. So the piecing together of various scraps of fabric um, meant that these quilts could be um, look very rich and expensive, but didn't have to cost a lot in terms of the materials that were used. Women were obsessed with gathering scraps of fabric to make their crazy quilts. This was also a chance for quilters to demonstrate their versatility in terms of different kinds of stitches. So we have a herringbone pattern, we have a cross stitch, we've got various um, ways that artists could show their artistry through their quilts. These quilts were more decorative and meant for display rather than functional for actually keeping warm. Um, elements that would have been incorporated would have been uh, natural elements such as these flowers, bringing thoughts of nature into the home. Also, pieces of family memorabilia would have been woven in, such as this ribbon uh, for the Illinois Cavalry. These quilts would have had an abundance of family charm and nostalgia associated with them. Um, and they would have been a sense of, created a sense of pride for family members to display and to show to others. Thank you very much for joining us and Collections Revealed, and we'll see you again next time.